Let's take a look at the U.S. Army Air Assault School and discuss how hard it is with an emphasis on phases, physical fitness, sleep and food deprivation, harassment, and then I'll show you a video of an actual air assault. The original Air Assault School is located at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, but there are also several other Air Assault schools and mobile training teams which teach the same curriculum. Air Assault School is 11 days long, a zero day plus quote, the 10 toughest days in the military. Zero day begins with a pass fail obstacle course event a two mile run, extensive physical training, and then a meticulous layout. Air Assault School has a 50% pass rate on the whole, with 15% failing out on the first day. The takeaway here is to arrive with the correct packing list and being in good enough shape to pass all of the entry level fitness requirements. If you pass zero day, you are invited to begin Air Assault School, Phase 1, where students learn about aircraft orientation, aircraft safety, medical operations, hand and arm signals for communicating with and helping helicopters to land, and Air Assault planning considerations. Phase 2 teaches planning and preparation for sling load operations, capabilities, characteristics, and the use of sling load equipment, duties and responsibilities of sling load personnel, and familiarization with sling load theory and how to rig non-standard loads. Students must also pass a 50-question written exam with 75% or better, and they must inspect six hands-on loads where they are required to check for deficiencies. Phase 3 focuses on rappelling, with an emphasis on tying the hip rappel seat, also known as the Swiss seat, hookup, and locking in procedures. Rappelling with and without combat equipment, belay procedures, fast rope familiarization. Students will conduct a couple of rappels from the wall a couple from the tower, and a couple from a helicopter. Students will be tested on tying the Swiss seat, hooking up to a rappel rope, and have three graded rappels, which require three controlled breaks. There is a 12-mile ruck march on the last day of air assault school. The time requirement is three hours or less, and then, after another layout, to ensure that you have everything on the packing list, you graduate and are able to wear the air assault badge on your uniform. Let's move on to physical fitness. Every day you will do early morning PT. When I went through air assault school, we all did calisthenics together in a big group. We also had three to four mile ability group runs and a four and a six mile ruck march to help prepare you for the 12 miler at the end of the course. If you are looking for an extremely effective workout program to get into amazing shape and or to specifically prepare for air assault school, then check out Special Operations Fitness. Links are in the description. There is not sleep or food deprivation at air assault school, but there is harassment. I will call it minimal, but for sure the air assault sergeants will crush you if you give them any lip or hesitate when they tell you what to do. I remember that some of the instructors memorized the classes that they taught. This seemed a bit scripted and overkill, but I guess it was effective. 
25 years later, I can still remember the link count for sling loading two Humvees under a Chinook. I absolutely loved my time as a lieutenant at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Outside of my years in Special Forces, the second of the 5 deuce was the best time of my military career. We had amazing leaders and NCOs. Difficult and realistic training, which always involved battalion or brigade level air assaults. And the brotherhood within my peer group was second to none. Many people think of repelling out of helicopters when they think of air assault, but this is too Hollywood. I know thousands of soldiers and special operators who got to or from a combat operation in a helicopter, but I've never met a single person who repelled out of a helicopter for a wartime mission. It's simply quicker to land or fast rope. Let's take a look at an air assault mission doing what it does best, delivering infantry to a decisive point on the battlefield. This film is a daylight video so you can see and appreciate what is happening. Okay, there you have it, an executive summary of Air Assault School. Let me know what I missed or give me your favorite memory of Air Assault School in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if you want to join my special operations team. And don't forget to forward this video to a friend who needs to see this. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?